Hi there and welcome to video 3 on the series on the calculus of variations and introduction. In the last video we looked at the potential energy of a rope hanging on for two pulleys and we derived this equation that the potential energy is the integral from 0 to L of y of x times the root of 1 plus y derivative of x squared all by dx. Now if we look at this equation here, we notice that that y of x is just a function. So what does a function do? A function maps the real number line to the real number line or a subset of the real number line. So there's some function here that maps these numbers to these numbers. But what we've got here, if we redraw this here, up this axis we've got this value EP. Right, EP again is the real number line. But along this axis here, we don't have the real number line as the independent variable as this independent variable, what we have is functions. So if I change this function, this value here will change. If we think about the rope hanging over the two pulleys, if I move that rope by hanging a weight on it, it changes the shape of the rope and then it, that change in shape will change the potential energy. So what we have here is not a function, what we have here is what's called functional because this here is dependent not on directly on the real number line this is dependent on what function you choose here now we want to write this in a standard form then what you usually how you usually see it written is that value here we'll call it s and we'll have an integral and we'll have a minimum x1 to some other value x2 and remember that this is just one particular example of a functional There'll be other functionals that don't look like this. They won't have a square root sign, they won't have a 1. They look, won't have a y of x, they'll have an x term in instead. There'll be lots of different variations in this. So if we describe some function by the, cat, uh, by the letter f, then that is the function, and that function is dependent on, well, in this instance here it's dependent on y of x and it's dependent on y derivative of x. Now in this instance up here that value there is dependent on y of x and y derivative of x explicitly meaning it's actually there in that equation but there is an implied dependence on x. So we'll pop in x in here. Now you could also have had in this equation you might have had a an x cubed term or, or x squared upon 3 in which case this would be explicitly dependent on x as well but as it stands now that equation up here it, the energy potential is explicitly implicitly dependent on y of x and y derivative of x and implicitly dependent on x. So, and obviously we're going to integrate that with respect to dx. So this here is our generalised functional which we'll be using along with that example for the potential energy over the next few videos. Okay, thank you very much and I'll see you on the next video.